We're focusing on San Joaquin County, which has become the epicenter of our local outbreak. Let me remind you that San Joaquin County has about half the population of Sacramento County, but they're comparable, if not worst, in almost every metric. So you can see here new cases over the past two months, and it, as you can see, the numbers have been consistently over 200, some days over 300 new cases for a total of about 7,800 cases. You can see here how this correlates to hospitalizations over the same time period. There has been a sharp rise in both hospitalizations in purple and ICU cases here in orange. Uh, the county is at 75% hospital capacity and 114% of ICU capacity, which is actually down just slightly from a couple days ago. Unfortunately, this tends to go, as this tends to go, you can see how deaths following such high hospitalization numbers works. Just yesterday, San Joaquin County reported a record of eight cases, and that brings the total to 83. Now the state is stepping in again, providing a second federal medical team to help ease the burden. Our hospitals are very busy. We're seeing that increase in numbers and positive cases. Right now, San Joaquin County has 205 patients in the hospital and 56 people in ICUs, all sick with COVID-19. So a second federal team, as you know, was sent to Dameron Hospital in Stockton. Um, this team is compromised of 15 clinical personnel and two administrative personnel, so 17 total. They're mainly there to help increase ICU capacity and really help the county overall be able to treat COVID positive patients. Mata says the county has the capacity, but needs the boost in personnel. This is the second federal medical team San Joaquin County has received in just the last week. I asked Mata what this means. I think it only stresses that coronavirus in our county is very serious. We're a hot spot and the state has recognized that, so that's why this medical assistance is being provided to us. So we definitely need to take it seriously and start doing what we all can to decrease the hospitalizations in our county.